Hi everybody, welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith and this is... Lou Smith. And in this episode, we're going to start our playthrough of... Xenoshift. Xenoshift. Oh. The X is silent, even though it's there. <laughs> well, we've already got things mostly set up here. We have our items placed on the board. We assigned our divisions. Actually, why don't we start with that? We'll each talk a little bit about what our special powers are with the divisions that we have. I'm the med bay. I get two med packs. And, as my ability says, any medical products cost one less unless there are already one. And then in wave two and wave three, Luke will unlock additional powers. My division is weapons research, and I'll start the game with two spark jumper rifles in my deck. And in wave one, my special ability is I can reduce the cost of one purchased weapon item by one to a minimum of one. During our last season's fundraiser for this season of Watch It Played, we had a promotional Xenoshift perk that we gave out to some of our backers called the ROD Ravage or Detonate Heroic Paratrooper. And I was asked by some people, well, how is this used in the game? And just to give you a heads up, when we reach wave two of our playthrough, assuming we survive, then I will explain how this card is used at that time. So stick around. Now, I should mention, our base starts with 30 health. Why is that? Because for each player, yeah. it has 15 health. So okay. because there's two, 30. Excellent. Math. And that means our base is shiny. Clean. Yes, it's clean. <laughs> there's probably nothing that's going to happen to no. it, right? No, it's, it's fine. fine. Wait, right. what's that I hear in the distance? Uh-oh. Aliens are coming. So what oh. we need to do to start the game <laughs> is draw up six cards into our hand, right? One, two, three, four, five, six from our personal decks. And then we each are going to get one free value one Xenosatum. One for you, one for me. And now we can acquire resources. So let's go to the table. We'll show you what's up to purchase and we'll make our choices. Now we're not gonna go over every single troop and item that we could be purchasing right now. But don't worry, at the end of this episode, before we turn things over to you guys to give us some help, I am gonna show you close-ups of each of these cards so you can read their effects. Luke, how much Xenosatum do you have to spend? Five. Wow, that was a good pull. All right, so Luke's gonna discard those, and he's already put some thought into what he wants to pick up, and what have you decided on, Luke? Two rangers. Two rangers, okay. And? One booster injection. Now, booster injections cost two. You only have one Xenosatum left over. Ah, but, because it's a medical thing. Yes, it has the medic symbol here. Yes. The medical thingy. <laughs> and my division lets me make it one less cheaper. Right, right, it costs one less to use. You can pick this up and add that to your hand. All items you purchase go directly into your hand. Remember again, we have access to all of these items, but only the first row of troops during the first wave, which is only this ranger. There's a space here for militia, but you can't actually purchase militia unless you have one of the other divisions, so I've just removed that pile from this mat. I only have four Xenosatham. I'm going to discard it and pick up a single ranger and also the Hellblaster rocket launcher because this thing looks deadly. And it's gonna cost three, but I get a discount of one from it, so it's only gonna cost me two, and that will go to my hand. Okay, we've got our loot, now what? Time to deploy the troops. I don't want to go out there. There's aliens. Who cares? <laughs> Too bad. We've got to get them into the lane. And remember, this is cooperative. So although I can't, say, give Luke items to put into his hand, give me that back, I can deploy them into his lane to help him out. And also, we're going to pass this bowl of damage and ability tokens back and forth to indicate who's the first player. So Luke is the first player for this round. Let's go to the table and... Deploy our troops and items. Did you eat one of those? <laughs> so we've decided that the top lane is going to be Luke's and this will be mine. Luke, why don't you go ahead and deploy first? What do you want to put in the lane? Two rangers. All right, your two best soldiers are going in the front of the lane. And then two milkshakes. And those are militia, but Luke uh, seems to have trouble saying militia, so he's taken to calling them milkshakes. All right. Well, uh, do you have anything else you can deploy? I have a booster injection in hand, but it's an instant. Right, so that will come out during the gameplay, possibly. I'm going to deploy a ranger equipped with this rocket launcher at the front of my lane. So I'm putting my strongest and toughest thing in front. Hopefully, you can just blast through all the aliens before any of the other ones have to go to work. 
But just in case, I will have a militia here with a spark jumper gun and another militia in behind. The rocket launcher has no special ability, just some flavor text here that says, when in doubt, just bring a bigger gun, which is exactly what this is. It does an additional four points of attack damage. My militia troop here has a spark jumper gun attached to it, and that says, during combat, before the enemy does its damage, I can have this troop do its damage first, but then I do have to discard the assault rifle at the end of the combat. Okay, well, our troops are deployed in the lane. They're geared up, they're ready. What's that I hear? Aliens! They're arriving, so now we have to deal four aliens from wave one into each of the lanes, and then we have to fight them. You ready for this, Luke? Oh, yeah. I hope so, because you're gonna go first. Let's go to the table and see what happens. All right, here we go. We're gonna reveal the first enemy in the lane, and it is a leech. It says each time this enemy kills a troop, it gains plus two power this round. So Luke, you have some options in your hand. Do you wanna do anything here or just have them fight? Fight. Okay, so we're gonna have one damage, go here, from this enemy, and you're gonna deal two damage to the leech. Yes. Neither of them are destroyed yet, right? No. So what happens? They fight again. They fight again. This time though, you're gonna put two more damage on the leech, it's gonna do one damage to you. You're not destroyed, which is great because it's not gonna power up this leech, but the leech has been defeated. Yes. So we'll slip this off the board and slide everything forward. So far, these aliens are no big deal. Easy for you to say, my ranger just got banged <laughs> up. Yeah, fair enough, okay. So there was definitely some damage done there. Let's reveal the next enemy. And this one's a shield swarm. This one has a reveal effect that says to place the enemy at the back of the lane. And while in the lane, it's going to reduce all the damage we do to aliens by one. So you're not gonna see it, but it's gonna be sitting in the back of the lane and we'll remember its effect. So now I'm only doing one damage? Th that's right, your attacks here from this range are only gonna do one damage. Okay, we'll flip this over and we've got a drone. Now this drone is a real nuisance because it says if it kills the troop, or it deals the base damage. The next time that you would draw cards, draw one less card. And we want lots of cards every round because it gives us more options. Now here's the problem. For sure, this drone is going to be able to kill Luke's troop, right? Yes. Because it's going to do two damage, that will knock you out. But you won't kill it. No. Right, because two damage is going to be reduced by one, it has two health. So I'm going to use my Hulk juice. Okay, so this is the booster injection. It's going to Hulk him up. What this does, it's just gonna give one troop plus three damage for this round when it does its damage in combat. Well, it's only gonna last for this one turn, but at least it's gonna kill this drone. I'm not even gonna put the damage on here because four damage in total is gonna to be enough to kill the drone. And the drone is also going to kill the ranger, so I'll remove them both. All right, so now everything's gonna to slide towards the center, and there's another enemy to attack here. We'll reveal it, and this one is a worm host. This effect is another nasty one. It says, if this enemy kills a troop, discard any equipment that the troop had, heal the troop to full health, and then put it at the back of the line because it's going to become an enemy that we're gonna have to kill. But I'm gonna kill it. You are gonna kill it, Luke, which is good because your two damage, although it's being reduced to one, is enough to defeat this enemy. But the enemy is still gonna kill you at the same time, and I don't have anything to prevent that. Do you? No. No. So the ranger has been defeated and has gone over to the enemy side. It's been hosted. Thankfully, this worm host is gone as well, though. And we're facing the shield swarm. And Luke, you got your two milkshakes here to deal with it. <laughs> I mean, your two militia. But we still have this shield swarm in the lane. So it's going to reduce your damage by one. You're only going to do one damage to the shield swarm. It's going to do one damage to you. Militia are the worst, <laughs> okay? So this one has been destroyed. We'll slide this one over. We know what's going to happen next. This valiant militia is going to do one damage only, but it's also going to be defeated. Thankfully, thankfully the shield swarm is now gone, but we have this traitorous ranger still in the enemy lane, and it's going to do its damage because we have no friendly troops left directly to the base. Okay, Luke, we're gonna have to take that damage off of the base. How do you feel your troops did there? Well, I thought they did pretty good, except for that traitor. Yes, we did have a traitor in our midst here, uh, which is going to leave the lane and go back into your discard pile. It's gonna go through some reprogramming, and hopefully we'll come back uh, a little better in the head. 
So now it's time to go back to the table and resolve the enemies in my lane. What could possibly go wrong? Look at this ranger. He's loaded up with a crazy rocket launcher. Gonna be able to handle anything in our path. Okay, this is a charger. This enemy says that if it does any damage exceeding the target troop's health, that extra damage carries over and hits your base. Well, this is good and bad news. I definitely have enough health on this ranger to block all the damage. So nothing's going to our base, but this is going to kill the ranger because the charger does three damage. I, of course, with this rocket launcher doing six damage, am also going to defeat the charger, but wow, I mean, I squished it. Totally squished this bug. Yeah. Almost feels like all that damage was wasted to oh. lose it so quickly, unfortunately. The troops are gonna to advance towards each other. We'll flip over the next enemy, and this one says, well, it's a gatherer. Each time this enemy kills a troop, we deal the base one damage. Now this kind of stinks, because the two damage it's going to deal will definitely be enough to kill my militia. But I do have an option here with my gun. Load it up. <laughs> yes, look, I should load it up and get ready to use it, because the effect here allows me to do my damage before the enemy does its damage to me. I'll put a token on here to show I'm using this effect, so I will do three damage to the gatherer before the gatherer gets to do what would normally be its simultaneous damage to me. So it's removed and its effect will not resolve because it has not killed my militia. That combat has ended, so I am going to have to remove my spark jumper weapon. So now we'll reveal the next enemy and it's a corpse eater. Okay, well this is, this is not good. So it says the first time that this enemy is killed, instead, Heal it back to one life and stick it at the end of the enemy lane. This is especially bad because I'm not even going to get to kill it this time. I'm only doing two damage to it. It's doing one damage to me, and that's certainly going to be enough to kill this wimpy, useless militia. So I'm going to remove it and slide my next one in. And oh good, I am going to kill the corpse eater this time. I'm going to do two damage to it. But it's not going away, it's just running to the back, and it's going to be healed to one life point, so I'll just leave these two damage tokens on as a reminder. And of course, my militia is going to die. Wait, where'd everybody go? There's no more troops left in my lane. Okay, we're gonna have to flip this over. It doesn't have a reveal effect. It's just gonna do its one damage to our base, then it's gonna go away. The next one will slide over and also do one damage to our base. Okay, so two more damage. That's not the end of the world. Well, do the math. What do you mean? Well, if it's four damage each round, Right, means... yes, four, if we take four damage every round, four times nine rounds is 36 damage. Yes. And we started with 30. Okay, so uh -oh. this is actually bad, <laughs> this is actually bad. Okay, so let's go to the next round, we'll move the marker down here, and let's just do better, okay? Yes. So, what we need to do is draw up six cards into our hand, right? Except... Because the drone killed one of my troops, I draw one less. Right, we left this out as a reminder next to Luke. He's drawing one less. That is unfortunate. And now we're going to be able to also collect an additional Xenosathem. Yay. One for you, one for me. And we'll go back to the table and we get to buy some more stuff. Now, there's no order to buying. Luke and I can do this at the same time. But Luke, why don't you go first? How much Xenosathem do you have? I have three Xenosathem. Uh, okay, you can discard that. What do you want to pick up? I'll pick up a ranger. All right. And use my discount ability to yes. pick up a med pack. Okay, that seems like a good idea because med packs are great. You can use them in response to reveal effects and they can prevent damage. I have four Xenosathem and I have not quite decided what I want to pick up. I definitely want at least one ranger. I only have two militia in my hand, so I don't have enough troops to fill my lane. I think I'm going to grab another ranger. I don't know, for some reason I feel like my troops are a little nervous about going out here into these lanes. They've, they've seen what can happen out there. But hopefully these ones are going to do a little better than the last group. I have two rangers out, two militia, and the first one I've equipped with another one of those spark jumper guns. Remember, I started the game with two spark jumpers in my deck. Speaking of which, Luke started with two med packs. Hopefully he's got a couple of those. Maybe. Good. Okay, well deploy the troops into your lane. I'll be putting out one ranger and two milkshakes. And <laughs> two, it's militia. Oh, forget about it, two milkshakes. One thing I don't like about this is I got nothing in my hands. I got no tricks up my sleeves. Well, I can donate some stuff. <laughs> That's good, I hope it's gonna help. Because we have to put out the next wave of enemies, right? Again, Yes. four are gonna go into each lane. 
And uh, maybe we'll see some of the same ones we saw before. Maybe we'll see something new. And don't forget, there is a boss monster. Yeah. Somewhere in here, right? And those are never fun. Let's go back to the table. This time, I'm the first player, so I'll be resolving first. Here comes the first enemy of round two, and it is a leech. Well, we saw a leech before, but this isn't too bad. It's going to do one damage to me, and I'm going to do three damage to it, which is going to kill it. Yes. All right, we're off to a pretty good start here. We'll slide over the next aliens. We'll flip this one over, and it's another leech. Oh, yay! <laughs> this is good, because I'm a leech-killing machine. It's going to do one damage to me. I'm going to do three damage to it, because, again, I have this weapon, right? So it's boosting my damage by one. And we're going to get rid of this leech. Take that, leech! <laughs> yeah, that's it. Gone. Another squashed bug, and... Leech! No, no okay. this one's a smoker. Oh, I hate this one. <laughs> yes, and you should. This one has a reveal effect that says it's going to go to the end of the lane. And while in the lane, all enemies receive plus one power. So they're all going to do one extra damage. We'll slide this one to the back of the lane. But hey, we only have a couple in the lane, right? So how bad can it get? This is a charger. Uh, again. And this charger, remember, if it does extra damage above and beyond the target's hit points, it will go to the base. You should use your effect. What do you mean? Oh, my weapon! Yes! You know what, Luke? You are 100% correct, because that will allow me to attack first. I'll kill this. This will be alive to take out the smoker. Yes! Brilliant move. Okay, so I'm going to put this token here. My attack is going to happen first. Three damage to the enemy, which is going to kill it. It does not do three damage back to me, so this charger is going to go away. The smoker will slide up. These guys will fight each other. Oh, and I should remove this weapon, because when its effect is used, it's discarded at the end of its combat. But you're still going to have enough. Right, because I'm going to do two damage to its two health. It's going to do one damage to me. Both of these are going to be removed, but no damage to the lane. And I've still got troops left over. Power turn. That was a power turn. I hope you have the same kind of success. Let's find out. All right, I feel like our troops have been emboldened. Everyone's pulling for yes. you here, Luke. We have a corpse eater. Oh. Man. Now remember this one. It says the first time that this enemy would be killed, it instead goes back to the line with one health. Now this one's kind of tricky, Luke, because you're going to do two damage to the corpse eater, but that's not going to be enough to kill it the first time. So it's going to get at least two hits on you and put two damage on your ranger. Oh, well I have a med pack, and that prevents two damage that would go to any troop. Right. But I wouldn't want to use it now because he's only dealing one damage. Right, one damage at a time. So it's kind of like you're wasting it almost? Yeah. So what do you want to do here? Just let them bang. Fight. Okay, yeah. so they're going to bang into each other. One damage here, two damage here. Then they fight again. One more damage here, two damage here. It's been defeated. We'll reduce it to one hit point left, and then we'll shift it to the end of the lane. So we'll be seeing that Corpse Eater again. Send in the next alien! <laughs> okay, here it comes. And, oh, it's a smoker. Oh. We saw one of these before. This one's going to the end of the lane, and now all of the enemies are going to do one extra damage when they attack. That Wee. stinks. No, <laughs> this is not good. And, oh, we have a swarmer. Oh. Well, this stinks. Because the first time this swarmer attacks during a round, it does its damage before you get to hit back. And that means this ranger is going to be defeated. And even if you used a med pack to prevent two of that damage, one is all that's needed to kill this ranger. Yes. All right, so we'll remove the ranger, and no damage was done to the swarmer. And actually, I kind of misspoke last turn, because remember that smoker is giving plus one power to the enemy. So it was actually hitting for four damage. That this swarmer is now hitting for four, but the militia is getting to hit back at the same time for two. There's nothing you can do to prevent this militia from being killed, is there, Luke? No. All right, well, at least the swarmer is being defeated. And the militia goes as well. Here comes the enemy sliding in again, and we have another swarmer. Fantastic! So we know what this does. The militia is just dead. It's flea food. And now we're going to have not three, but four damage because of that smoker effect hitting the base. It'll go away. And then two damage will hit the base, and it will go away. And then Two more damage will hit the base, and it will go away. <laughs> that did not go so well. Eight damage. Ugh. We doubled Gosh. the total damage that was done to our base compared to the last round. If we do that every single time... If we do that every single time, oh. this is going to be a very short series. Okay, so we are down to 
18? Oh. 18 health? Okay. Okay, okay. Let's not panic just yet. Panicking. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we're, we're moving wave one. All right, we're still in wave one, but we're down to round three. You have the option of getting rid of any cards in your hand if you want to. I don't know if you want to get rid of anything that hmm. you have there. Um, I'll just get rid of one card. Yeah, I don't know. You have two med packs. Those are, those are good, but you are going to need... Here's the thing, Luke. Yeah. I have a lot of troops in my lane, and I can't remove them. So I can spend money that I have to buy troops for your lane. And then I can use these med packs on your to, guys. To keep my guys alive and hopefully keep your guys alive. Yes. I don't know if that's a good choice, but I'm, I'm like, maybe we need to save. Okay, we're going to save these. I know it didn't really, I mean, you had med packs and they didn't really help out last no. time, but. Oh, well. I, I, we just got, that was very unfortunate. So, what happens next? We're going to draw, right? We're going to draw back up yes. to six cards in our hand. So you're only going to be drawing four, right? Yeah. And we're both, well, I have nothing left in my deck. So I'm going to shuffle everything up here. Oh, I just drew a med pack. Now I have three. <laughs> you know what? If we had done the math there, we should have known that was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. I feel like that was my fault. You wanted to get rid of one, and I talked you out of it. Yes. I'm sorry. I Goodness. apologize, okay? You. <laughs> the alpha gamer problem. All right. So I'm going to draw up my six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It seemed like good advice at the time, though, right? I guess. I guess so. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back here. It's time for us to acquire... Well, actually, no. First, Xenosathan for you, <laughs> Xenosathan for me. Now let's go acquire some new items. Bad news. Tell us the bad news, Luke. I only have one Xenosathan. <laughs> one Xenosathan. One? You mean the one I gave you? Yeah. You drew none? Yeah. Okie doke. Well, what do you want to spend with your one? Oh yeah, you do have a discount, so you can buy yes. a medical item that costs two. What do you want to purchase? Well, I'll get some Hulk juice. Hulk juice, okay, a booster injection. I did a little better. I have three Xenosathem. I'm gonna pick up a Ranger. I only have one Xenosathem left to spend, so even with my discount, I can't afford any of these weapons, which is what I'd like to pick up. But instead I'll grab one of these bio-enhancers. It says it can be played as a response to reveal effects, and one troop gains plus one power and plus one hit point until the end of the round. Where are the dice? If we had dice, we could rely on your lucky Luke powers. Oh yeah. No, actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna rely on your powers. What we wanna do is show you all of the cards that Luke and I both have in our hands and then have you decide how we should deploy into these lanes. And remember, we can deploy into each other's lanes. So that may affect the decisions that we make. And you can rearrange the troops in the lane. So even though I already have some here, you can move them around and decide how you want them to be. And so if you have a suggestion for that, and I hope you do, please put them in the comments below. If you like what someone suggests, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like the suggestion, propose your own idea. Maybe someone will vote for that. And whichever one gets the most votes, that's what we'll come back and do. But until the next episode, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.